Hey, welcome to this video. If you arrive here, probably searching for ClickBank versus ShareSale. So I'll go over how they work and I'll give you my suggestion on what I think you should go with. Um, now, if you're interested in learning how to make money from home, consider subscribing. I'm always coming out with videos like this. And if you like my free training on the number one simplest way uh, to build a profitable online business from home, uh, just check that link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email and I can send you that free workshop if you want. All right, ClickBank versus share a sale. Let's dive right in. Uh, so these two are these are two of the mo two of the most popular affiliate marketplaces out there, I believe, um, where you can select from a large variety of different products uh, to promote. Now, ClickBank focuses. This is a ClickBank. They focus on digital uh, products, mainly courses. Uh, and the nice thing about ClickBank is they have um, just about every niche you can think of. So you can see, uh, you know, arts and entertainment, cooking e-business and e-marketing which is the industry uh, we're in uh, you know, games health and fitness gardening sports you get the idea and um and uh so yeah i know clickbank's been around since 1998 uh they're they're 100 legitimate and they make it really easy for affiliates especially beginners to you know get started sign up the sign up process only takes a couple minutes um the dashboard's really clean and easy to navigate and uh you can grab your affiliate links right away you don't need to apply um which again is great for if you're a beginner and which is why a lot of courses uh teach clickbank because it's so simple to use now share a sale works uh you know quite similarly uh, the main difference is they focus on physical products for example pillows chairs merchandise clothing uh, jewelry gardening products uh, they have some pretty well-known merchants on here like reebok uh, weebly the nba store as well as many lesser known brands uh, it is a bit of a process to sign up you need to answer some yes or no questions they um you need to provide them with a website so hopefully you have a website and then they'll usually uh, activate your account within three to one to three business days uh, assuming you get approved another thing that's different with share a sale is you need to apply to each program individually um, you can't just simply grab a link like you would on clickbank another major difference is the commission rates are significantly lower anywhere from three to thirty percent and uh, clickbank is on the other hand they're Commissions are usually 30%, 50%, even 75% in some cases. And if you do a good job, you can even uh, reach out to the vendors and get them to increase your commissions. And um, and finally, Share a Sale offers three payment methods. Uh, so they do direct deposit, uh, check, and pay in year. Well, ClickBank only does uh, direct deposit or check, which is fine. Overall, which one's better? I'd go with ClickBank personally. Uh, because of the higher commissions and also uh, because the products are mostly digital and you really want to be focusing on selling digital products uh, because they're easier to sell basically um, there's no waiting period all people have to do is click on a button and they can buy right away and there's just less friction they get immediate access it's also easier to influence people with uh, info products courses uh, and there's no one there's no invisible ceiling on on the price like people will spend a ton of money on a course, much more than they'd spend on, you know, a share, for example. <laughs> now, keep in mind, ClickBank and Share a Sale are just two of the many affiliate networks out there. You can just Google, I did best affiliate networks, and you'll get you'll get a long list. And um, But here's the thing. It's not so much about the network. It's more about uh, first picking a niche. The three biggest markets are health wealth and relationships if you stick to one of those markets generally you'll do quite well and then pick a sub niche with one of those markets so for example if you want to go into health you uh, could specialize in you know weight loss you could even go narrower you go weight loss for women or um you know guys who want to get six-pack abs uh and then other sub niches like diabetes back pain um you know hair loss prevention i don't know you get the idea now um and then you want to and then you want to find a digital project in that niche that'll help people solve their problem and lastly you need to build and this is really important this last part you need to build out your own unique wrapper um your own selling system around the product it's not just about like a lot of people think affiliate marketing marketing is just sending people directly to a sales page hammering people over the head with a with an offer 
but people don't buy like that nowadays. They, 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 yeah, because, you know, internet marketing has been around for a while. Now, if this was back in 2005, that sort of strategy, that aggressive marketing strategy might've worked, but nowadays people just cross their arms and they don't, they won't buy because they hate being promoted to, I mean, they're getting promoted to 24 seven. I mean, everyone in their pet goldfish is trying to sell you something these days, right? So you have to be a bit more indirect with it and more strategic just because people don't like to buy from greasy salesmen. And that's what you look like when you send people right to a sales page and then just, and then just send them to the, and then just email them with the same promotion over and over again. So you have to be, uh, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. Now, look, obviously you're here because you're trying to make money online and maybe you, you even understand the power of affiliate marketing. If that's the case, I was you about three years ago. Uh, first of all, I tried all everything. I tried blogging, all the different business models like blogging, domain flipping, um, you know, freelancing, survey websites. Well, that's not really a business, but um, all the different ways of doing affiliate marketing because um, I saw other people having success with it and it made so much sense to me. But so I thought, why can I have success with it as well? But you name it, I pretty much tried all the strategies out there and none of them were working for me. Um, none, none of the strategies the gurus were, the gurus were telling me to do uh, seemed to be working. It was super frustrating. I could make a sale here and there, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get into profit from month to month. And uh, just as I was ready to give up after almost two years of spinning my wheels, I was very fortunate. I, I guess, or maybe I just stuck with it long enough. <laughs> I, I eventually stumbled across the right information um, that taught me how to really build a profitable affiliate marketing business. Started implementing those strategies and I've been seeing some pretty incredible results ever since. It wasn't immediate, but it was, you know, maybe one sale every few weeks, and then a sale every week and then multiple sales a week. And then, and I've had multiple sales uh, in a day now, not every day, but um, it's getting more frequent. Now, if you'd like to know, learn what's been working for me and lots of other students, all I have to do is check that link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Just enter your best email and I could send you my free training that will just detail everything uh, if you want. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on ClickBank versus uh, ShareASale. I hope to see you on the other side of that link and I hope you have a great day. Bye.